Hey everyone, this is Sally Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I have a quick video on sharing something a hey, student had a question on. Thought I'd just do a quick video to show you exactly what happens. So the question was, once they opened a file, their design page looks different and they can't get it back to a normal 12 by 12 page like you see here. So I'm gonna show you what happens. When you open a file designed by somebody else or even designed by yourself, the file will open at the size it was created at. I'm going to come up here to the open option and I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to select this file. It is an SVG file. When an SVG file or other file types are opened, they can open at the size the designer created it at, which means that your page might change. It will look different. So I'm going to open this file. What you can see here is I'm going to zoom out. This design was created at four inches, approximately four inches by seven inches. So you're going to see the white background is your media size. It is your page size. The rest of this, it will not cut outside of that border because the software is told that the media size is set at 6.9 inches by four inches. You can easily change that yourself by coming up here and going to auto, change this auto is 12 by 12 or selecting whatever media size you are currently on. Now I'm going to undo that so it comes back here. Now, in some versions of the software, when you go to open a new design mat, your page will stay that way. In my version that I'm currently using, it is it did not even after I set it up to save that way. So if you come to a new design mat after opening a file, that looks like this, where it has changed your page size. Now it can be either smaller, as you see here on the screen, or it, an SVG file could open much larger than your current mat, and it will set that media size larger than the current mat. You will need to change that. If you open a new mat and it retains that information, so it keeps your media size the size of the previous file opened. Simply come over here to the page setup panel, which is your first icon at the top. It is the default that opens when you open your software. Select whatever page size that you would like to select. So if I select 12 by 12, now the white is across the entire thing. If you are not seeing white completely, the transparency option it has a slider and you can slide this over. So the white is whatever media size is set on your page setup panel. Then if you continue to have that problem and every single file opens with that original size, that is super small. I've even seen as small as one inch by one inch. All you have to do is save this file. File, save, save it as a test file. It can be blank, save it as a test file, open that file again, and it should be the, I didn't close it, so open that file again and your page should be reset. Now close the software and reopen it, and then it should all be reset and back to normal. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Check out the additional information in the description of the video below. Hope those tips have helped in your design process of your Silhouette Studio software. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.